Well, the Center for Africa Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights, CALSA, besieged the United States Embassy in Abuja, uh, demanding for justice over the killing of unarmed black American George Floyd by law enforcement personnel. The convener of the group, Princess Ajibola, says CALSA decided to register its displeasure and stand with the ongoing protesters in the U.S. to demand for justice for blacks and colored uh, persons living in the U.S. She also adds that CALSA will no longer stand and watch the continuous ill treatment of black by American law enforcement officers. We are gathered here to register our displeasure with the happenings in the United States of America where black lives do not matter. For us at the Center for African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights, black lives indeed do matter and indeed we do matter. And this is the message we want the ambassador of the United States of America in Nigeria to convey to President Donald Trump. Our message is simple. Black lives matter and racial discrimination must stop in the interest of peace, unity and progress. If this does not stop, Africans, we must take our destinies into our hands and fight for our rights. Because according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we are all born free. We are all born equal. Nobody is more equal than the other. We all have our thoughts and our ideas and we should be all treated the same way. Africa is watching, and again, like I said, we are indeed watching closely. We are all watching you closely, how the present administration in the United States will do to make black lives matter and seek justice for late Floyd George. Africa is indeed waiting to see that justice is served to the killers of George Floyd, and as nothing short of that would be acceptable or tolerated by us.